when people take selfies in the mirror and they're like, hashtag dirty mirror selfie, like, how hard is it to go and get Windex and spray it off? You're sitting there taking 73 selfies, so why don't you just go and get some Windex and spray it off or get some sort of cleaner and spray it off? Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. Today we are going to be talking about lazy bathroom habits. Do you have them? Are you guilty of them? How do you change them? Stick around to find out if you're guilty of one of these bathroom habits. First one is not wiping off your bathroom mirror when you let when you know that it's dirty and when you see the toothpaste splatter or whatever other splatter happening on the mirror. Not only does this make your cleaning job that much harder at the end of the week or whenever you do decide to clean the bathroom, but it's also just gross to look at. And something has always bothered me when people take selfies in the mirror and they're like, like hashtag dirty mirror selfie. Like, how hard is it to go and get Windex and spray it off? You're sitting there taking 73 selfies. Instead of letting it sit there, wipe it off right away. It's not that hard to clean it off and it just looks so much better for those 73 selfies. Is to not, is not wiping out the sink. Same for that toothpaste gunk that happens on the mirror. Sometimes we get toothpaste gunk in the sink and it's in a place where it's hard to rinse down the drain. Instead of letting it sit there and build up and get all nasty and gross and you have to like work five times harder to clean it, just grab a little square of toilet paper and wipe it out and throw it away. Super easy. Three is letting your empty toilet paper tube sit there letting it sit on the roll and then just grabbing a new roll and putting it next to the thing and not replacing it. This one is just crazy to me because I was guilty of it when I was young and it's honestly something that's so simple and so easy to stop. Like, I've timed myself and I've been able to do it under 15 seconds with one hand. Yeah, so stop that. Change your toilet paper tube. Don't let it just sit there. I'll create a collection of toilet paper tubes. It's silly. Number four is letting that counter clutter wreak havoc in your bathroom. Give everything at home in your bathroom. In my tiny little bathroom, it can start to look extremely cluttered, claustrophobic, and messy if my counters are not cleared off. Everything deserves a home on your bathroom counter. I have a small little caddy to put all of the things that I use pretty much every single day. I have a couple of totes underneath the sink, and I have decluttered my beauty supplies and bathroom supplies so much this past year and a half, and I have less stuff underneath the sink and it's just a beautiful sight going underneath there, knowing where everything is and not having just a ton of stuff built up underneath there. So get some cleaning totes, get some baskets, get whatever you need to do to organize your bathroom, get a little caddy for the counter, go on Pinterest and get some inspiration, but give everything a home on your counter and make sure that everything is decluttered. Make sure that when you're done using it morning and night, you put it back underneath the sink or back where it goes. Don't let it just sit there. Number five is not rinsing out your shower when you're done in it. So we are humans and we are gross and we accumulate dirt and dust. Yes, no matter how clean of a person you think you are, you have some some stuff that you rinse that you rinse off yourself in the shower. And just because you're cleaning it off in the shower doesn't mean it's all going down the drain. It's going everywhere in your shower. Take your shower sprayer down and spray your shower out, spray the walls off, and then squeegee the walls. And excuse me, sir, get out of the blinds. And then I know, I know, I know chemicals are really bad, but I'm trying to find a substitute for this product that I have, but it's a shower spray that, because I live in such a moldy, mildewy state, it's something that I really need to use because I'm not trying to get mold in my bathroom. If you have any recommendations for a daily shower spray that's a substitute for what I'm using, then please let me know in the comments below. But until I find something, I'm going to have to stick with my daily shower spray. That completes our list of 
of lazy bathroom habits you need to stop doing today. If you're guilty of any of these, these are really simple to stop doing and they make such a difference in your bathroom. They make your cleaning experience that much easier when you do get around to cleaning it. I clean my bathroom once a week, so it makes everything so much easier because I'm sticking with everything I'm doing and I'm doing all of these little things that might take five extra seconds, but I don't have to sit there for five extra minutes scrubbing something off or scrubbing my tub out because I'm sticking with these cleaning habits. So let me know if you have any other bad bathroom habits or cleaning habits down below. And if you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.